Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another spring or this is some like summery kind of haul now. Um, so I've got one, two, I've got five pieces to show you, but um, one of the pieces is actually already sold out, which is so annoying because even when I'm filming this, which is a few days before, but they do get restocks quite regularly and I know they have quite similar stock to other stores online, so I'm still going to show you it because it's a really nice piece uh, or set. Um, so if you haven't already, then I would love you to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing videos pretty much every day at the moment while we're on lockdown uh, to try and occupy myself and you guys and I'm actually really enjoying my increased schedule so I think that I might try and maintain doing like three videos a week um, after this or even more so uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notifications bell as well so that you don't miss any of my uploads because I always upload in the morning but it just depends on what I'm doing like sometimes I get at 6 a.m. for a walk so I'll upload at like 7 and sometimes I have a bit of a lie-in so I'll lie upload at like 9 or 10 so just really varies so the best thing to do is hit the notifications bell and you'll never miss it so I have picked the most quite some random things um, or well, one thing's quite random I'm going to show you that first and this is blazer dressed now I'm going to stand here because I'm going to style it there uh, and this piece I've got so many outfit ideas for it despite it being quite crazy so I'm going to style it three different ways so let me show you it first so it's this green plaid um, blazer dress and it just really it's like so clueless vibes that I just love it because it's got that real kind of 90s fashion vibe to it but even though it is quite a bright colour well it's not massively bright but it's a bold colour and it's a bold pattern um, I do think that it is quite wearable so I wanted to show you three different ways to wear it because off the top of my head alone I can think of three so the first way is as God intended or as nasty gals God's intended which is as a blaze dress so I would pair it with some chunky boots because actually it would look really cute with a little heel too I think it would look cute with most shoes to be honest I'd wear it with trainers as well so I'd just wear it as a, a, a blazer dress dun, dun, dun. I've got the itchiest nose um, we just brushed and washed Penny and her fur it's just like all gone up my nose um, so <laughs> I'm sure you wanted to know that. The second way is with a little dress. Now, I think a blazer dress open with a dress underneath is such a cute look um, because it just adds another dimension. Also, because this is quite a bold print, I feel like having a simple dress underneath will kind of break it up a little bit. Um, so I would wear just like a little cream slip dress. This one's from Topshop and I've worn this so much. You guys are probably sick and tired of seeing it, but I just think it's such a classic. And I'll put all sizing information for this and the other things that I wear and the links in the description box below. So don't worry about trying to note things down. Um, but yeah, so that is another way of wearing it that will look super cute. You could even like tie the belt so you can see a bit of the dress underneath. Uh, and then the last way is to wear it as a blazer. So open as a blazer. You could take the belt off if you wanted to or have it as a belted blazer with jeans. Um, but I think it looks so nice. Just like a racer vest and jeans. Maybe a little heel sandal, little bag. And then this open. And I just think it's such a cool look and it kind of breaks it up even more. And it just, for a really casual outfit, it would make a statement look. So the next thing is this lounge set, which I'll stand here because I'll wear it to show you guys. Um, it's so see-through, <laughs> that's the first thing, um, but as I said in my Instagram stories when I first got it, it's see-through, which obviously is not great because you can't wear it out of the house, but A, when are we leaving the house anytime soon, and B, you probably wouldn't want to wear a lounge set suit out of the house anyway, so as long as you don't care about your partner or housemate seeing your pants, then it's fine. Um, and the jumper is actually really cute, you could definitely wear the jumper part of it as a normal jumper either with like over a little dress shorts trousers anything um so that's really cute and yeah it's just a really comfy lounge set that i thought was perfect um i don't have the price but i just thought it was nice as a difference to like sweatpants and track suits and stuff because it's knitted so the next thing i got is this black midi dress and this is like really thin jersey t-shirt material and it's got a little tie that goes around the middle and it's also got a little bit of a high neck which i always find super flattering on any top really i just find a little bit of a higher neck rather than a round neck it's always so much more flattering 
um, and I would wear this pretty much for anything. I mean, I think it's quite perfect now for wearing around the house as like elevated loungewear because it's so comfortable. I also think it would look nice without the belt. It hasn't got loops for the belt, so it's not something that would look weird without the belt, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think it would look really nice just with like sandals, a little basket bag for like a cute kind of springtime everyday look. But then I also think it would look so nice um, with like a blazer, some heels, sandals for a smarter look. It's just a wardrobe staple really to me and I feel like these kinds of things are super timeless so they're not going to go out of fashion. Uh, they're just a great thing to have in your wardrobe and I also think that they might have this in other colours. Then another thing that I got which is also major clueless vibes is this little skirt. Now I was hoping that it would look more like a skirt than short and from the front it definitely does but the back, I don't know how I feel about the... Oh, from about the back, but I, I do think that it's fine. I just think this is my first pair of skorts. This is my first rodeo. So I, yeah, just was not expecting it to be like elasticated, but I guess that means it's really comfortable and great for wearing, um, for eating loads of food, <laughs> which I always love, as you guys know. And because this is attached at the top, you're not gonna get that, um, I guess if it was buttoned up there, then you might get gaping. So that avoids that issue and means that that like sits perfectly where it's supposed to when you wear it. Um, and what I loved about this was, I love that it had the kind of clueless vibes um, with the plaid, but I like the fact that it's a bit more of a understated plaid than the green jacket because it's got those pastel tones, which are BTW, super on trend at the moment. So it's 90s fashion. So got a couple of things in one. I think this will be so cute on holiday. Like I feel like they would be quite cute as like uh, a little cover up type thing uh, with like a bikini. Um, but also I would just wear it with like t-shirts and little heeled sandals for a cute kind of smart look. Um, also with just like trainers and a vest or t-shirt as well, I think it would look quite cool for like a 90s vibe. Not grunge, but like more edgy look or some chunky boots i feel like it would go with anything i would probably keep the top half quite simple though so if i i would just go for like a white shirt or a white t-shirt or a white knit or um vest top or like pick one of the colors out of the skirts like maybe a pink one or blue or yellow so i just keep keep the top half quite simple because it is a plaid unless you wanted to go full out and you found like a matching blazer or something then the next thing is actually inspired by another influencer so whilst i was making my nasty gal order i usually just have like people's videos on in the background while i'm working um i would probably get way more work done if i didn't but it's good job i did this time because i was watching emma is it Emma Rose? I'm not going to say her surname because I always say it wrong, I think. Uh, it's like L-E-G-E-R or L-E-D-G-E-R. And I thought it was Ledger, but apparently it's Ledger. Uh, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I really like her style. Um, it's quite young and like girly for me sometimes but she has some really cool things and she did an astigal haul in her video and she got these trousers and I was like, those are so nice. Um, they're kind of like a yellow they're like a yellow trouser uh, with a brown pinstripe but it's not like super thin pinstripe it's quite wide and they're really wide leg trousers and they're super long as well which i think looks really cool i know some people don't like it to drag on the leg but you can always get them taken up for the price um and also they look so cool with heels because i know that that can be an issue with people sometimes to be able to find a pair of heels a pair of trousers that look nice along with heels um, and I am five foot seven or eight ish, um, just for reference for these on me. Um, but I just think they would look really cool with like a vest top and trainers or chunky sandals. Um, but also with like a blazer and some like heel sandals or some heels, um, or like a t-shirt and heels. I just think they're such a cool pair of trousers. And again, like they're statement because they're so wide legged, but they're not like massively statement. And I also feel like with Nasty Gal, they are a more affordable brand, but I feel like they've got the waist detail on these really right. Like, look at the button, look at this pleating. I just think they've done a really good job of making the waist detail look really pretty and not cheap. So those are all of my things from Nasty Gal. Again, a little mini haul. I actually really enjoy these mini hauls because I feel like uh, I can properly talk about the products and show you different ways of styling them rather than combining them and like it being so long and chocker. Uh, I feel like it's much easier and also like probably nice for you guys to see all things from one store. 
Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As I said before, I will link everything, including like what I'm wearing. I'll even link the mirror if you want. Just link everything below um, and put all the sizing information. And as I said for reference, I'm between an eight and a 10, probably more towards the 10 side since I got um, about a billion cream eggs. Uh, and then also, um, I'm like five foot seven or eight. So you can see the trousers and jeans and stuff on me. Um, and if there's any other videos you want to see, then please do let me know because I would love to oblige. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time, I guess. Bye.